there are several functions in Excel that can be used to calculate several statistics of weather data. Those are the average, the standard deviation, the sum, the max, the mean, and the count, which are used for calculating averages, standard deviations, totals, maximum and minimum values, and the number of counts. The syntax of the, this type of functions is always very similar. For instance, we have equal the average and then database, variable name and conditions have to be passed to the function. The database is the range of cells with all the data that we want to play with. The variable name is the name of the variable to be analyzed. And the conditions are defined in a range of cells that contain the conditions to be met in the analysis. All the functions have the same syntax, for instance, equal the count, database variable conditions, or equal the max, database variable conditions, etc. Some rules apply to all these functions. The conditions that appear in different columns have to be met simultaneously. And the conditions that appear in different rows are alternative conditions. The conditions may include formulas and uppercase and lowercase are not distinguished. We will see an example with 20-year daily weather data from a location in the Caspian Sea coast. There we have Tmax, Tmin, solar radiation, rain, wind and vapor pressure. With this data, we will ask questions like, what is the average T-mean in January? What is the standard deviation of the minimum temperature in January? What is the frequency of frost in January? What is the average radiation of days with frost in January? What is the average radiation of days with frost in January when wind speed is lower than one meter per second? Here is the example where we have imported this data set with weather data, daily weather data, solar radiation, maximum and minimum temperature, rain, wind, vapor pressure, and T med. This is the average temperature. This gray area marks the database that we want to analyze, and this yellow area marks the cells that define the conditions. So the syntax is, for instance, for the D average, all the functions have the same, uh, the same parameters. So equal the average database, this is a range that defines where we have the data. Then a variable name, for instance, the average, we want to calculate solar radiation the syntax would be the average range of the database, then the variable, solrad, solrad, and then this range of cells that mark the conditions. In this case, the only condition that we have is that the month is equal to one. It means that we want to know the variables related to the month of January. Okay, so this is, these are the parameters look that the conditions are marked with a dollar, dollar a, dollar six, which means that we have fixed the value of this cell. And the same goes for the conditions. So for all the calculations will be related to the same database and for the same conditions. We want, we may uh, complicated conditions. For instance, we can calculate values for frost days, t mean lower than zero. And here we, are, we have the values, the average values for January for the different variables, but we have also the standard deviation of the different variables, the count, the number of days, the maximum values for the different variables, the minimum, and the sum. The sum has, uh, is only meaningful for rainfall. So 
here would be related to the total rainfall during the month of January. So this uh, uh, we look that we have duplicated the name of the variables start here again month year solar radiation these are duplicated because we can combine we need to combine in the same row different values for instance if we want to uh, check values related to days with minimum temperature between 0 and minus 10 greater than minus 10 we need to put everything in the same row for these two conditions to apply simultaneously. That is why I had duplicated these variables. For instance, we can now uh, say what are the conditions when rainfall is greater than one, but lower than 10 millimeters, or we can even say what happens to those conditions now if the wind speed is greater than three and here we will be having a change the conditions will be changing for the different looked at the uh, the, uh, uh, the average converts to the standard deviation or d count or d max or d min or d sum for the different variables. This spreadsheet is available for anyone interested in downloading it.